Hey, this is Adam with Tech Dive AV Club. We're in Vegas Pro 19, and I'm just going to be talking about general Vegas Pro. It doesn't have to be 19, but there are some 19 specific things we're going to talk about. General Vegas Pro hard drive usage tips. I've got a lot of uh, drive space issues going on, and I thought this would be a great time to jump in and talk about how you can utilize drive space best in Vegas. So first off, uh, when you see red, that's really bad. If I didn't have my page file on another drive, then uh, my computer would be crashing uh, pretty easily right now. So if you see red, you definitely need to get stuff off your computer. That's part of what I'm doing. Uh, but another part, something else to consider, another, another way to manage your computer, when you're installing everything, um, you might have more than one drive. If you're a video editor, I highly suggest having more than one drive. And you can put um, Vegas itself the software on your C drive. Uh, I have Vegas on my D drive um, but putting it on your C drive or another solid state drive uh, is a great way to get Vegas fast, responsive and opening quickly and then rendering your video to a separate drive. I'm not currently doing this. I'm currently opening Vegas from this drive too. But rendering and, and, and using and reading your video from a separate drive, it doesn't matter if it's a solid state drive or not because not having your operating system on this drive is the most important thing. So if you have a drive that doesn't have your operating system but does have either Vegas or just the video content you have separate from your operating system, uh, that is going to make your experience with rendering and watching video so much smoother because if Vegas is installed on your C drive um, but you're reading and writing video uh, on a different drive that opens up all that drive space to be able to read and pre-render and render your videos and, and without having to fight the operating system and if, like I said, if Vegas is installed on your C drive too, without having to fight Vegas' base operations being read. Having more RAM is also very helpful for video editing. I would minute, say a minimum of 16 gigs uh, if you're doing 4K video editing. Um, I've got 32 now and that's certainly been helpful. So that's tip number one. Tip number two, uh, when you're dealing with drive space and things, there's two places in Vegas that it does temporary drops of your folders. Um, first off, it's got uh, a temporary drop right here. And you'll notice that a lot of times it defaults to your C drive. It'll go to uh, usually your app data somewhere in your local user. Uh, it would be like yeah an app data drive and that always reads and writes temporary files on your C drive and you might not want that especially if you don't have space in your C drive if you want to put these to another drive especially if you would want it to put it somewhere where it's not fighting with the operating system this is the place to do it I put it on my D drive I've got a little temp folder file for both Unreal and Vegas to so just kind of drop their temp files here and then this is where specifically this is the pre-render files folders so whenever you pre-render a video it doesn't it's not just when you pre-render a video sometimes it has to do pre-rendering on its own to show things uh, this is kind of a background operation that happens so having this done uh, is just good having this somewhere else uh, might serve you really well especially if it's not fighting your operating system for read and writes um, if you haven't set start all new projects with this setting and then hit apply if you didn't have that checked it will only do it for that one project so if you want a project specific that's fine but it, you'll need to have this checked when you hit apply to make sure that all your new projects open on a different drive if you go to options and preferences here you have more options and you might have other temporary files that Vegas needs and a lot of times these are put on your C drive so again I'm going to put these away from my C drive so that way it's not no longer fighting my C drive for space because my C drive space is very precious um, but this other drive space I've got plenty of room so lots of files here you can see so uh, this app data I want to get it away from that so I'm going to put it go to this PC I'm gonna to go to my D drive and I'm going to drop it in uh, I've got what's called what I call U temps and then I've got a folder called V temps I'm gonna make a new folder and call it uh, V temps 2 and that's good enough you're never gonna be reading the name of this folder it just needs to exist somewhere else hit OK uh, and then hit apply 
there we go and so now um, this file will also be dropping the temporary files Vegas needs to create and read from uh, in another drive so if you go to view and then window and then Vegas Hub Explorer now this is Vegas Pro 19 specific information here this Explorer uh, it actually can store stuff on the cloud which is super helpful but just like a OneDrive kind of thing it will put things on your computer as well so what you need to do is realize that it actually will put them on in your documents folder so see if you look at my documents folder it creates this is just you know the documents uh, on your C drive it creates a holder in here called Vegas and this is where your mobile uploads uh, can drop and your Vegas content can drop and so uh, when you download something from the cloud it'll put a local version of it on your computer and this is fine but what you'll need to do is occasionally um, go through and clean these out so that way you don't have a ton of them piling up on your computer if you're not using them uh, you can go ahead and delete them out of here and that will just clean up your uh, hard drive space so uh, it makes sense to have them uh, locally when you're editing with them, but you don't, you might not, you know, if they're available on the cloud, whether it's your personal videos or stock footage videos, it all saves there. So if you have it on the cloud, you don't need to necessarily uh, have it in two places all the time. You just need it there if you're currently editing with it. So there you go. That's better ways to utilize your hard drive with Vegas Pro 19 and other versions of Vegas. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Like if this video helped you out. Subscribe if you're looking for more Vegas Creative Software help. And I'll see you guys next time.